I got my first academic position in 1969 at North Carolina State University. And for you know the first couple of years, I was a conventional chemical engineering professor. What I realized, though, after, uh, after a few years, was that while I enjoyed the research, I loved the teaching. I got started really thinking about it because I couldn't find enough people going to graduate school after I found out it was free. So I got interested in it at, at that stage to just simply say, what can we do to get more underrepresented students specifically to go into graduate school and, and just not just go, but go get a PhD. So that ignited me. In doing so, then I ran into ASWE and, and we started talking about it and our activities meshed. I found that uh, if I wanted to find out more about teaching and about teaching engineering and find more people who were uh, of the same mind as me and were getting the same satisfaction out of teaching, ASWE was the place to go. My daughter is a former ASWE president and uh, has been involved with the organization over some period of time and still is involved, heavily involved. It was gratifying to see her pick up and, and stay in the same kind of area, but move even greater on, you know, move on beyond. So to be nominated for and selected for the Hall of Fame for the ASWE is a high honor. I haven't stopped smiling about that. I'm looking forward to coming to the conference and all of that. Yes, that's a wonderful thing. I've seen uh, the past inductees. Um, I couldn't be prouder or happier to be in the company of the people who are being inducted this year. I know a number of them. They're some of the best people in this business and uh, it's a true honor for me to be coming in with them.